Okay, uh, first of all, uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Estonian colleagues, a really remarkable achievement from the, all the presentations that uh, presented today. And also, I, ho uh, I hope tomorrow will be as, as interesting as today. But uh, today I'm going to tell you about uh, uh, some uh, progress in, uh, in this field uh, in Latvia mainly talking about the path that we have started to take to, towards the genomic medicine in Latvia and also some uh, res main research activities that are now going on in, in, in Latvia. <clears throat> so I, I, I try to stick to the plan and, and, and make the presentation as short as possible. And let me start with the, uh, with, with the description of the National Biobank, uh, which official name is uh, Genome Database of Lat uh, Latvian Population, that was started already in 2006, uh, which was well incorporated in uh, uh, BBMR, National BBMRI Network as a leading biobank. And uh, the, the, so, the, so it is one of the uh, largest uh, uh, biobanks in, 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 in uh, in Eastern Europe, but um, uh, what I would like to also add is that uh, apart from the uh, well uh, uh, collected uh, population uh, uh, biobank, uh, we have our, our strategy was also to to act as a, as a framework for different research projects, offering our services to. Uh, different uh, medical research projects uh, and, 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 and in the field. And that actually resulted in a very well uh, represented sample cases uh, and, and, uh, from different diseases in our biobank uh, and also helped to, the, to, to really develop the infrastructure, not only uh, following uh, kind of uh, one way of recruitment of the patients because in different projects we had very different requirements and that really helped to uh, kind of uh, uh, really adjust our cap capabilities and uh, from that viewpoint uh, apart from the mainly research projects that we are providing our samples to actually we are also working in, in, in many uh, translational projects, uh, mainly because of the availability of the infrastructure for the fast sample preparation, also pro providing the uh, research and, and, and the diagnostic, uh, so in some cases, also diagnostic results to the uh, customer. And for example, that was also used in, 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 the, in the recent case of the, of the pandemic, because we're also responsible for the, for the sequencing of the viral genomes uh, here in Latvia, and also in some other projects that I will uh, show you uh, later. Uh, another important uh, um, uh, issue is, of course, having a good uh, uh, infrastructure for the genome analysis. And uh, we, we were able to upgrade our sequencing facility in 2019 due to collaboration with the, uh, with the MGI company and uh, having the uh, whole set of the, of the sequencing and also automated workflows, both for the biobank and also for the uh, analytic part to really uh, increase our capability to, to, to uh, for the, for the genomic analysis. And this is just an illustration how uh, uh, this is the, the, the genome data that are being processed uh, in, at, at the National uh, HPC Center, how that increase uh, with the time when we introduced this uh, MGS based MGS technology. So it, it's, it, and it is indeed continuing to increase uh, because there are more and more uh, genome sequencing and other uh, not only genome sequencing, but also NGS-based uh, research projects now uh, going on. Uh, another remarkable issue is that uh, uh, three years ago, uh, Ministry of Economics introduced their, or, uh, their ecosystem policy. So basically, and one of the uh, this uh, ecosystem uh, framework was created for the biomedicine, and that actually attracted a lot of interest from the uh, private uh, companies and uh, 
and that brought also the MGI company to Latvia. So, and that uh, one of the uh, really important strategic collaboration agreements we concluded with this BJ MGI um, company was on the on the providing the high throughput sequencing technologies. And here in the picture, you can see also the uh, the T T10 uh, instrument that. Uh, is at the here at the Latvian uh, uh, facility and uh, can can process uh, uh, quite a large amount of the genome sequences. The human genome sequences we've been uh, able to use also for um, our projects. Another imp important issue and another example is actually, for example, here is uh, the uh, two large companies in Latvia, the national companies, uh, the, the 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 IT equipment producer and. Uh, and the uh, mobile, uh, mobile phone uh, networking company has uh, helped to establish the genome data network because uh, with the increased uh, genome uh, sequencing uh, uh, throughput, uh, that there was obviously need for the uh, for the higher uh, higher uh, uh, speed networks, and that was uh, really. Uh, very fastly in, the, in, in a few months uh, done uh, with the help of these two companies connecting uh, major universities with the sequencing center and also uh, major uh, hospitals. And this is the network is uh, upgradable up to 10 uh, gigabytes and, and also connected to a giant uh, net network. So this, this, uh, this is uh, uh, very well uh, and fast organized uh, help from the uh, from these companies that actually is now introduced also in the academic network here in Latvia and uh, really example how interest from 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 uh, uh, private uh, partners can can really speed up the uh, this development process uh, very rapidly. Uh, one example that I want to also add uh, also uh, uh, concerns actually the um, uh, COVID-19 related research and uh, actually that was again because of the need for the uh, fast exchange of different uh, data uh, in frame of uh, state research program we created the, the the first integrated data system which includes all the all the all the elements uh, listed here for example providing pseudonymized the individual level data for authorized users also including the uh, authentication and and, and and this is a source allocation on the HPC that uh, directly allows to analyze different omics results and, 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 and uh, develop here. So basically, this also can be a very well prototype uh, prototype that can be used also for uh, for for the uh, our, our 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 share in in, in, in uh, one million genome project and uh, for example. Uh, and, and, and with this example, I would also like to say that, uh, of course, the, uh, we should care not only about the genomes and uh, as soon as possible also try to use other types of, of data for like, like in this uh, specific case, for example, you can see that there are, um, uh, and this is actually from publicly available uh, part of the of the of this uh, portal where everybody can search for the available metadata in this project and uh, request this data. Uh, basically, we can also include uh, many other type of omics data, like 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 microbiome uh, studies, with, uh, also the uh, the viral sequences and and, and all other, other things that you can see in the, in the picture. Um, and uh, this is a good example that also the the, 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 the this this database that is created in the frame of for research project project now is used also for uh, by by. Uh, uh, government authorities, for example, for this uh, genome, uh, the viral genome sequencing, and uh, uh, where the data can be easily be extracted and then used for for epidemiological needs, for example. So uh, this is a one example. Now, other examples of genomic projects that we are now that are now running uh, in in Latvia are. Uh, and I tried to uh, pick uh, an example from each of the fields uh, representing uh, the uh, the major uh, the major directions also uh, 
in, 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 in uh, the one million pro genomes project. So there is uh, uh, the, at least number of projects that are uh, concerning rare disease organization, rare, rare disease biobank and research with the emphasis on uh, ensuring whole genome sequencing for the uh, projects, uh, for, the, for the patients uh, that, uh, that, uh, that are currently undiagnosed, uh, for example, uh, from the exome the sequencing data. Uh, a very, very interesting project is uh, also supported by the number of, 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 of private entities is a pediatric cancer initiative that ensures the whole genome and RNA sequencing for every child with cancer in Latvia. So this is a project at the national level. And then this again is a good example, even though it's not, not the, maybe the easiest uh, case to start uh, a national project in such a uh, unhomogeneous case of, of, of cancers, so like, like with the uh, pediatric cancer, but still it, it also uh, provided the interest and also uh, uh, help to establish and start to establish the uh, molecular tumor boards uh, in, in Latvia and, and, and in the frame of this project, uh, we are working on, on the interpretation pipeline that uh, would be uh, more uh, friendly for the, for, the, for the doctors and also uh, in this case data have been already used for personalized treatment purposes. Another project which is more concerns population based or, or common diseases is uh, uh, even before this uh, genome of Europe activity, we, we are starting to, to create the Latvian uh, genome reference in number of rather uh, in, in, in frame of the rather small project, but uh, still this is the uh, it, it's it's devoted to type two diabetes, personal risk estimation, and, and, and also based on polygenic risk scores. Uh, here uh, we have already uh, obtained uh, more than 300 whole genome sequences for the, for this uh, basis, and we are going to use the low courage uh, uh, genome sequencing for the for the uh, for the for the rest of the cohort to really uh, be used for the calculation of polygenic risk scores. But this would be as a case study for the for the developments. Uh, um, in other diseases as well. Uh, and finally, I would like to mention that we have also developed a proposal for the particip participation in Genome of Euro project. Uh, uh, you know, interestingly, in our case, we also are going to uh, sequence uh, 3,000 uh, 3, individuals from the Latvian population. Um, based uh, both using already existing cohort from uh, Latvian Biobank, also uh, including new recruits as well. And um, uh, most importantly, this is uh, included uh, already included in the recovery and the silence uh, facility plan and submitted already to the uh, to the uh, European authorities. So hopefully this is uh, something that will be will be able to start uh, very soon as well. Uh, talking about the needs challenges, of course, I think these are uh, very similar to uh, all the countries. And I think that uh, also in the morning session, we saw all the, all the very specific uh, uh, issues, uh, which I'm not touching here, but uh, one of the really important uh, things that we have to uh, work on is the legislation. And, uh, we have this uh, human, human Genome Research Act uh, in force since 2002, but uh, it's, it, it is definitely outdated and uh, we've been working all of it for a number of years for the new biobank law. Uh, which is now very close to the succession, and so it's expe expected to be approved by Parliament in, uh, this year. And uh, I think something that may take longer time is uh, the, uh, the development of the legal framework with the focus on secondary data usage, and uh, this is also there are need for appropriate legislation. But uh, the, this is, these are the activities that are really uh, uh, very hot now, and and and. and I and hope that they, with, with the attention now um, uh, is, is, is on, on and, and this will be also uh, done fast. Uh, uh, 
of course, there are always other issues. One, one which I, uh, one which I can uh, mention is the clear uh, that we, we still don't have this clear uh, roadmap, and then also the investments for the infrastructure development, and I mean the uh, in infrastructure in, in a broad sense uh, for the, for improvement of e-health system, other medical data systems, because of course you cannot use the uh, omics data if you don't have the uh, well, well accessible uh, health data. And this is uh, indeed an important issue and maybe not that easy and uh, fast to solve issue here. Uh, and of course, and, 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 uh, but, but again, as a part of digitalization strategy, there are plans in, in, in Latvia to make some uh, uh, parts of this system very centralized and, and, and hopefully this will be also the matter of the nearest fu future. And, um, uh, and then, of course, I, I, I probably should mention that, that we indeed, as, as probably many, uh, many countries and uh, many, many institutions have these limited uh, human uh, resources for the bioinformatics and data management, which is indeed in the core of this, uh, this activity, uh, not only in Latvia, but also in Europe. Uh, and I, if we are talking about the support from 1 million genomes, I think there is all, already a lot of support uh, gained for at least for, for Latvia. And uh, one, of, one of them is actually, I would like to start with the political support and actually uh, by itself joining the 1 million genomes initiative as, as, as a country uh, created uh, good level of awareness and help to prioritize the need for development of genome medicine uh, for example, the, this 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 idea to include this uh, European Genome uh, Project uh, uh, in the recovery and silence facility was uh, uh, definitely as as as, as a such uh, uh, outcome of, of this of this uh, membership, uh, and I think that uh, in in the future also the clear information and not only this technical and too difficult information, but also something that uh, can be addressed to the go government authorities with uh, direct uh, indications on the impacts that can uh, can actually come out from such projects would be very uh, helpful to really, uh, in many cases, to convince the, 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 the politicians and, and, and uh, other officials to really uh, go to this um, path to, 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 to develop the uh, genome medicine uh, in Latvia. Uh, of course, I guess this is something that will come out from the Beyond One Million Genome Project anyway, but of course what, what, what would be very helpful is the uh, very concrete information uh, on the on recommendations, uh, which is all that I see in many uh, working groups in this, in this project are, are actually prepared. And of course, as soon as there are some uh, even more detailed uh, information from like, like from uh, proof of concept actions and from a number of countries and, and then and very specific uh, technical information that would be, I think, very use, uh, usable for, the, uh, for, for countries that are yet developing the, the, the same, uh, same solutions. So, and I agree that we don't have to invent the real uh, from the beginning, and this would be a very even even if it's not uh, taken up directly. So I think it's it's uh, very important to see the experience and the uh, and, and, and problems and challenges uh, also not only in general terms but also from from very very technical details how this is uh, managed. And I hope this uh, if there will be openness in the, in the in the project. I think that will uh, come automatically. <laughs>